Oracle team wrote me a message saying, hey, John, we'd be stoked to have you down. Come foil with us. We're in 12 knots of wind doing 35 knots. All of a sudden, the boat lifts up and you're just going faster and faster and faster. The truth is that I haven't shook my shadow and every day is trying to trick me into doing battle. Calling out fake love, wanna give me rattle. Wanna pull me back by the fence with the cat. Building your lenses, digging your trenches. Put me on the front line, leave me with a dumb mind with no defense. But your defense, if you can't stand to feel the pain, then you are senseless. Since then, I've grown up some different kind of fight. And when the darkness comes, let it inside you. Be your darkness, it's shining. My darkness, it's shining. Everything in myself. go down there and see the way they train and how their program works was so cool for me. Seeing these guys and how they better themselves in every little thing every single day got me more amped up to get back home and compete some more. It's just insane to see the commitment of everyone on that team to want to win. Just made me even more psyched up for next year. I was just like, what can I do to better myself? Once Haleiwa came around, you know, I just committed to the contest and I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna really do it. I tried to use everything that I've learned this whole year and that's how Haleiwa went for me. It was really just like wake up and go serve a heat and just kind of have fun and use my past experiences. It went by so quick. to get started here with round one of the Billabong Pipe Masters. John John Florence dominating this performance as he is moving on into round three with a closer shot of winning this event for the first time in his career. My round three heat was really interesting it was me and Bede. It was kind of a, just a funny dynamic because I had worked with him through so many events. To be competing against him, it was pretty fun. Now do you think Bede's kicking himself? He's back <laughs> in the jersey and now competing against John, who has a copy of his playbook. Well, I mean, in saying that too, it's, uh, he kind of knows what to expect, right? And Turbo fighting till the end, but it looks like he's going to come up short here. Looking for the lead, he'll pull into the barrel of back door, and he gets the completion. The world champ winds up for the wow. finish and hammers it shut. John John Florence into the quarterfinals. I let Michelle go on the first hit of the set, 
and it was a good wave. But I was just thinking there was going to be a bomb behind it. And there was, there was a set behind it, but it just was pretty peaky and kind of weird. I can't blame anyone else but myself because I know the mistakes that I made. Oh my gosh, look at that, Joe. Just incredible stuff. Michelle Perez got an 8.77, takes out the world champ with solid scores to move to his second ever semi-final here at the Pipe Masters. It was a fun heat to end the year on, and I was stoked that Michelle went on to win the event. We'd like to bring up your champion for the Vans Triple Crown in 2016, John John Florence. I've been just going surfing when I want to go surf and having a good time with my friends, and I just kind of plan on doing that for the next month or so. And just really gonna enjoy every day and just not worry about schedules or not worry about meetings or anything like that and just have fun. I'm gonna go after another world title 100%. I know that I'll never get to the point where I'm satisfied with surfing, where I'm like, okay, that's the best I can get. There's so much more that I need to better myself and fix, and it's not for anyone else. I just wanna just keep getting better and better and better.
Abu Hamdu 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 H